so this has been a long time coming. Yo! Excuse that. Uh, so yeah. This is what I look like. Some of you may have already known. This is who I am. Might be a shock to a few of you. Some of you might even think. Not watching this guy anymore. <laughs> so I just thought. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. Just an update video. As to where I went. What happened. Why I didn't post. All of this sort of stuff. Basically, the first thing that made me stop uploading was my scooter got stolen. It was actually just robbed off the street. Someone just snapped the steering lock, put it onto its back wheel, put it into a van, drove away. <laughs> Not much you can do on that. Uh, I did end up getting it back. I did get the bike back, but it's, it's, uh, it's, it's dead. It's not rideable anymore, which is a shame, which is why I stopped uploading in the first place. But that also means, as I don't have a bike, there won't be much bike content coming out of this channel anymore. And I know that's what ev like everyone subscribed for. Like, literally 50cc vlogs. But as I've been looking through the comments, and still getting frequent comments, even though I haven't posted in a year, people just seem to want to see content from me rather than specifically bike content. Hopefully you're, um, hopefully you're all sticking around. Hopefully I haven't lost my uh, my audience due to my one to two year hiatus. Let me know what sort of videos you'd like to see from me. Um, I'm very much into like photography stuff, so I could do like editing tutorials and things like that. But I want this channel to be somewhere where you come and just chill out, relax, take it easy, learn some new skills, share new skills, because as, as much as I'm happy to teach you stuff i'm more than happy for you to teach me things because i'm not saying i'm like professional in any field whatsoever i do have some projects coming up in the near future that could be a possibility such as um a podcast which would that be something you're interested in i know a lot of people used to watch my videos my old videos as um as like podcasts they used to play them and then open another another tab and just listen to them so i thought that could be a good idea just to give you a bit of my background, just after my bike was stolen, literally two days after, I passed my driving test. So I literally got my car as soon as my bike was stolen. So there was no incentive for me to get my bike repaired because I was just getting a car anyway, if that if that makes sense. Obviously, if you've seen my my car videos, they just didn't they just didn't turn out the same as the bike videos. So I just didn't see any point in continuing them sort of sort of videos because I wasn't happy making them or I just didn't think that they gave, they came across the same as the, the bikes did. So I've been in this rut for the last year where I've been wanting to make videos but I just haven't known what on because I don't have my bike and because that's what everyone subscribed for in the first place I feel like whatever I make now is not going to be up to standard with that. And then about a year after I got my car I moved to university. I actually got to university in Nottingham. Strange talking about this now because I remember back in like past videos I've mentioned going to university and stuff and now I'm in my second year. Wow. So obviously with me moving into halls and stuff and getting a new house and all this sort of weird stuff, is it's just sort of prolonged the video making process and it's just sort of made me think I have no idea what I want to do with this. So I just thought I'd throw it together literally throw together this sort of setup and just sit down and just see what happens literally just see what happens so i had this idea that because it's been so long and that i've been getting frequent comments and frequently new subscribers thank you to everyone that subscribed even though i haven't been posting for the last year i thought it'd be a good idea to go through all the comments that i'd missed while being away and just talk through some just got my reg and I'm so nervous to go out by myself. Ah, oh, nah. It's, there's nothing more freeing, I don't think, than going out like night time and just riding around. Night time especially because the roads are dead. You don't got to worry about cars or anything. It's so freeing being by yourself rather than with other people. So I think riding around by yourself is the best as well, I think, because it gives you a lot of, gives you a lot of head space. Even when you're just riding, but you've got the helmet on and you're just in the helmet and you're just, it gives you a lot of headspace while you're riding. 
Even though you probably should be focusing on the road. <laughs> Dude did a thousand point turn before getting on the scooter. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's bro. Where you at? It's been here. <laughs> Hopefully back for good. I've had my moped stolen, and everyone in my area is after him. That's if you, if anything like that ever happens to you, what I did, I put, took a picture of my bike and the reg, and posted them on Facebook, and then all my friends shared that, and then all their parents and stuff shared that, and I was getting messages left, right, and centre saying, "Oh, I've seen a bike this colour here, this colour here. Oh, I've seen this bike here. Oh, I've seen this reg here," and then. Sooner or later, you'll get a few ones that probably aren't your bike, but you'll get the one that is, and then you'll just be able to go get it back. And just, there's nothing that annoys me more than thieves, especially when you've you've worked hard for something. And it's mopeds can be a main point of transport as well. So if you've taken someone's main point of transport, there's nothing more, nothing boils my blood more. Try to send a donation, but for donations for more than £450, you need to verify your account. Is that verify my account or your account? I mean, you could buy a bike for £450. That's a, that's a lot of money. You buy a bike. You even get a car for that money. Love your videos. This is a dumb question, but where is the best place to buy a 50cc moped? Just ask about. I got mine from a family friend. It was actually stupidly cheap. I got it stupidly cheap, but I got it from a family friend. Um, the best place I've seen now is Facebook Marketplace. Like, go on, go on, search scooters for sale near me, 50 cc scooters for sale near me, and there's there's so many bikes on there, and there's they're not bad prices either. But just be careful because you could get some people on Facebook that will sell you the bike, tell you it's fine, but there could be some like big issues with it. But again, bro, these are amazing. Do more videos; they're so good. See. Them videos were fun to make as well, but I just don't know what I could make to keep up that standard. Let me know. Comment. Comment. Did he just say he's 16? Wow. That's cr I'm 19 now. So that's weird thinking back to when I recorded that video. Are these still for sale, bro? Because when I get my pet, I'm defo buying one of these because your channel is actually amazing. Um, the key rings. They're actually not for sale, but they possibly could be. Possibly, if that's something you'd like. I don't know if you remember the keyrings. They were like little keyrings to put on your bike keys. I enjoy your content. Could you do some more motor vlogs? I honestly, I would love to. Would honestly love to, but the my bike is knackered. And saying, like, going back to the car vlogs, they were cool and all, but the angle was off. Just it just didn't feel right, and I just didn't enjoy making them as much as as I did on the bike. But saying that anyway. Like I've built, I've got this little, this little setup now. So if, if there is anything you would like to see from me specifically, s sort of away from the bike, bike content, purely just because I don't have a bike. If I had a bike, I'd be making more vlogs, but I just don't have a bike. So it's not feasible for me at the minute to make that sort of content. But I saw somewhere, someone tweeted me saying, um, we don't care what we see. We just want to see you, which I don't know. I sort of sort of don't believe but sort of do at the same time so if that is true let me know <laughs> what you would like to see <laughs> as i say i'm into photography and stuff like that filmmaking so um, i could give you some like some basic photography tutorials um i could take you out on shoots with me when i go and do photo shoots i could upload some more short films do some sort of vlog type videos there's all sorts i could do and that i want to do but i want to make sure that you'll enjoy it first if that makes sense rather than committing and then it not working the most recent comment on my channel was a week ago a week ago and i haven't uploaded in a year and there's still 2087 subscribers so if you're one of them subscribers and you stuck around while i was gone thank you for sticking around and if you're one of them subscribers as well let me know what you'd like to see because you're the people that will be coming back most. So that's it from me. Bit of a strange video, really. As you um, get to see my face. But hopefully, the face reveal was up to standard. And it didn't put you off being any sense. I, that sometimes happens. You build the picture up of someone in your head. And you hear their voice. Like on a radio or something. And you, you build a picture of your own perception. And you see their face. And then that perception you have of them is just 
gone. It's just like tarnished. So hopefully that didn't happen for you. <laughs> but yeah, this was just like an update video. Just of, um, of where I've been, what I'm doing currently at the minute, uh, why I left. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments what sort of videos you'd like to see. And now uh, some things have changed since I've been on YouTube. So I'm not going to ask you to like subscribe or anything. But one thing I would say is hit that notification bell. Just so then, purely just so you'll know when I upload. I don't like begging and stuff like that. Like, please subscribe, please like. If you want to do that, you do that. But the only one, the only thing I would ask you to do is hit the notification bell, just so then YouTube doesn't mess up and then you actually see when I upload. Uh, it's actually quite useful. I actually use it. It's one of the features I actually use. <laughs> so yeah, after all that, thank you for watching. I don't know why I put this on. It's not like I have a bike to go and ride off on, is it? <laughs>